Dear Pixie, you asked us, what is the difference between the zero point and the law of one, or are they the same thing? There are many that perceive these constructs to be one and the same, and when looking from certain perspectives one could say they are one and the same, for the law of one permeates all and everything. However, in the truest reality, the zero point is the central point. It is the point of timeless infinity that is both something, nothing, everything simultaneously. Yet in the truest reality from your perspective and from the perspective of any consciousness outside the zero point field, there is always the potential of something and never nothing. For the zero point holds the potential of the law of one, but stands alone and is not the law of one. The law of one is the very first thought that is birthed from the potential of the zero point field. However, once the law of one has been birthed, all things are part of the law of one, for the law of one explains oneness and unity and all and everything then becomes part of that energy, including the zero point field. Yet the law of one cannot truly explain the zero point field which is potential of something and vibrates at zero point, therefore it can never truly be one. The zero point is the central core within the law of one, the oneness, infinity, moving outwards on all levels from the core of potential. All things come from the potential, from the zero point, and therefore the law of one explains all things. Where is the zero point within us as humans? All structures, all consciousness individualizations embody the patterning of the true reality. Therefore the potential of the zero point field lies within all things. Yet it is not found in a particular organ, cell or place within the human body. Rather the consciousness of the individualized structure embodies the potential of the zero point. Therefore, zero point consciousness can be attained through various spiritual disciplines when applied with focus, power and heart. Meditation frequently takes one to the zero point consciousness. How can we apply the law of one to our individual lives? The law of one is a term that simply states what is, or rather what was, from your perspective. Embracing and understanding oneness and unity, and becoming part of an empowering collective that have the ability to change reality and shape futures for planets and dimensions, is a way to apply the law of one. Yet the law of one applies to the individualized individual as much as to the collective. The individual individualizes by recognizing the compartmentalized structures within all things, including himself. The more one individualizes, the more one becomes whole, and the more one can apply the law of one to their individual lives. Will the existence of the zero point be made known to us in our physical reality? The response to this, given the increasing probability for Earth's collective consciousness, would be yes. We would have to, in all truth, respond that this is most likely rather than a given, as it is the case that when a certain critical mass is reached within the thinking of the planet's population, that cosmic and universal structures become mirrored, or rather become manifest, within the physical reality. Given the fluctuation of trajectories within timelines, we would conclude that from your perspective, this cannot be a definite. What is the difference between the zero point field and the unified field? The unified field is the physical representation in your cosmic reality of the law of one. Or rather we could say, the unified field is the physics of the law of one. The law of one is an explanation of the unified field. The unified field is the consciousness structure that unites everything as explained by the law of one. The zero point field contains the potential for the unified field to be birthed. The unified field is the consciousness and intelligence created from the zero point field. Are you the white winged collective consciousness of nine, the unified field or the zero point field? 
We are certainly the unified field when we are not in communication with our conduit. We exist in oneness, explained by the law of one, within the unified field and as the unified field. However, when we come forward and move into communication with our conduit, we are no longer the unified field, but an individualized aspect of it, presenting in angelic form due to the symbolic consequence that takes place when we present that way. In the truest reality we become pure geometry as we communicate from the unified field through our conduit. We are not individualized aspects of the zero point field, yet we embody the frequency of the zero point. We understand as aspects of the unified field that the zero point contains the potential of which we are part. We are the white-winged collective consciousness of nine.